For more, let's cross to meteorologist Jeff Masters of the uh, Yale Climate Connections. Thank you for speaking with us from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Hello, Francois. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, amazing things about this uh, 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 this cyclone. First off, first time since the year 2000 that one has crossed the entire length of the Indian Ocean. And then going onto land, back out to sea, back onto land. How uncommon is that? You know, we don't see that very often. And unfortunately, we saw just four years ago in the same part of the world, Cyclone Ide hit Mozambique uh, and made a similar track to what we saw with Freddie. And uh, that cyclone was also devastating, killing several thousand people. And it's uncertain whether this sort of behavior is something we're going to see more of in the future. We simply don't have long enough records in this part of the world to know how cyclones might be changing. We just got satellites back in 1997 in this part of the world. The fact that it's on course, pardon the pun, to be uh, the longest uh, uh, running storm of this magnitude for that part of the world, what does that tell you? Boy, it tells me we, we have a sort of event that it's a once in a lifetime thing. I mean, this storm has been around for over 30 days and we've only ever seen one cyclone of a similar length way back in 1994 and that was in the Northern Hemisphere. So very unusual event. We don't know to what extent climate change might have been involved. Certainly warmer ocean temperatures do help cyclones keep their strength longer. And the ocean temperatures in the Southern Hemisphere the past few months have been above average helping out that process. Because it's not just cyclones, uh, isn't it all weather patterns that are moving slower? You're going to get, uh, with global warming, uh, uh, longer periods of precipitation, longer periods of drought. Yeah, that's key, because when you're moving slower, you're able to dump more rains. And certainly this storm was taking its time, meandering around, making multiple passes over land. And we have seen evidence in the U.S., for instance, that tropical cyclones are moving slower when they get over land. It's uncertain to what degree that's happening worldwide, but it is certainly something we're not surprised to see might be due to climate change because it does weaken the upper level winds in that part of the world. One final question for you, Jeff Masters, uh, and, and our thoughts go to those people in Malawi trying to uh, dig out from, from underneath it while the rains continue to fall. What do you do? How, do you, how do you rethink disaster preparedness going forward? Boy, I mean, you really have to get people out of flood prone areas, both in floodplains of rivers and near the coast. With rising seas, certainly storm surges are going to get, get more intense moving farther inland. So uh, you just have to be prepared for a new climate. The old climate of the 20th century is no more. We have a whole new climate here in the 21st century, and that means increased risk. Jeff Masters of the Yale Climate Connections, many thanks for speaking with us from Ann Arbor, Michigan. You're welcome.